is so that they will not be able to ask for outside help and they will not be able to post about anything or spread awareness about what's going on there. Now, let's talk about Manipur University. So in Manipur University, tribal students are being hunted down and lynched by the Meite community. This is a place of education. This is being turned into a war zone. A place of education is being turned into a war zone. Now they're going as far as to burn churches, including ones in Let's talk about Manipur University. So in Fal, their own place. This is hatred. This is pure hatred. This is nothing other than pure anger and hatred. <laughs> What started with a peaceful protest has gone as far as to be become a hate crime. We need to do better as a society, spread the voices of tribal communities and stand together. See, now this is the prime example of why I am how I am with religion, bro. Uh, hold on for a moment. Now, this is why I'm always like this with religion. <laughs> and this guy went like complete Hulk mode over something else of someone else's different beliefs. Now, I keep telling you guys, what do I keep telling you about religion? I believe when man makes up falsified gods and not even God. We don't even know what a God is. Falsified entities or superpowers and making up and saying that, oh, this is holier than thou. Do this and you will not be going to hell or some sort of purgatory that harms you in the process. You get what I mean? But when I tell you this, because it seems like we only got part two of this whole story and not part one. Whatever is transpiring over there, it's nothing new to me. When it's pure hatred and religion is involved, you have to understand lynching is such a fun thing to do over there. Now you're probably like, whoa, 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 whoa. What do you mean lynching is a fun thing to do over there? Like it's it's extremely fun to these people. Like this guy, honestly, his fake anger is actually pumping him up to do worse. And they don't care. In most Easterner countries, they literally do not care. They don't care as long as they get what they want. And remember, I, I believe this personally. Most Easterners are descendants of aristocrats. So most aristocrats are pieces of garbage, human beings. And those are the greedy punk mother effers who literally do all that. When I tell you, bro, when I kid you not, there is something about religion that just tells you how scary humanity is when you don't believe in what they want you to believe in. That's why when I see all these these religious bigots hating on gay people, other people, and saying this is a sin and this is that's a sin, like the oldest testament and the oldest um version of the Bible still stands with me into this very day. Note that once again, maybe I've said this in the video. In the Bible, there is a part where it says that black people were the beast and shall not be a part of society something similar along those lines note that black people were known as beasts we were known as monsters we were known as just cattle to people in christianity that's just how you know that 
Religion stays how religion is, no matter how many times it tries to adjust to society. You have to understand, these dudes, these types of men out here in India, and mainly just Easterner countries in general, when they want to go religious, they really put in the work. Like, us Americans, we don't have the strength to put in that work. Easterners... They'll take it to another sadistic level, and they love to lynch. Like, I'm telling you, these guys would smile, and I, when I say this, I've seen brutal gore videos where, I guess you can consider them gore videos. There was this one video that was on YouTube for over at least about eight to nine years. Until, like, 2018, it got banned. Or at least 2019. I'm not sure and I haven't checked on that video. And I don't want to look back on it either. And. This video showed a Afghanistan person getting hanged. This dude was lynched and like it was creepy because how pixelated the video is. But you can see everything. It was at least 140p. 140p. At least um. 148p or whatever you want to call it 144p and literally dude the guy was just hanging and the guys were just going allo akbar allo akbar over and over and over again and they're all cheering and being happy I i'm just i'm not gonna lie these people, also, especially the ones on Twitter, they be talking a lot of smack about America. But then we see stuff like this. Man, you guys, you, you guys put in the work. We, we don't even look like we can put in the work that you've been doing. I'm not going to lie. I don't believe us Americans can do what they can do. Like, I'm not a bigot towards anyone. But this is just straight up facts. Like, you have to understand, religion literally is the most scariest thing on earth. It is the one thing that where you can get away with being an evil person that completely acts like you're holier than thou. And like most of these people in this video, I can tell these are good people in other people's opinion. Like, they would never do that. They're, they're never been a horrible person. Like, I'm telling you, bro. I'm telling you, that's why you gotta understand religion, it's just, it's a very uncomfortable concept to talk about. Look guys, all I can tell you guys is, stay frosty out there, if it even snows there. But, I really suggest strongly, strongly. You just stay away from Eastern countries right now. It's just still not it. There's just too much unnecessary lynchings and hangings and just attacks for no reason because you don't believe in their God. I'm good. I'm good. This is why the only God I believe in is a higher power that us human beings cannot understand. Neither can we explain in an understandable way but the only ones that i truly also believe in is the creator is everywhere the creator is here he's he's everywhere he's all of us at once he created all of us he created this he created that he gave us materials to create other things that's what i believe the creator is in a spiritual way it doesn't exist in a religious way where some being descends on down and tells you what to do and what's right and wrong. In fact, the creator, in my opinion, he doesn't really know what's right and wrong. He just knows create, 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 and repeat. My creatures do whatever they please, whatever the choices they make, so long as it doesn't harm mine. So yeah, he doesn't really know what's right and wrong. That's the problem with people. That's what the creator is. It's not some person named Jesus Christ. 
the creator is a entity that is everywhere and everything at once like you cannot you cannot say that it's some sort of man with a, a beard and a gown with some scarf on and that's it are you serious like that's the creator to you Like, right, come on, bro. Look, guys, y'all have a good one. Peace. The internet has been turned off. Hi, I'm Lucy Christian. I am the voice of Otako Urabanka, and you should subscribe to New Standard.